So you might be trying to figure out what some of the best home screen launchers are for your Android phones. Now, luckily for you, I love all of them, but there's some ones that I would highly recommend probably more than the other ones. And I came a list of four different ones that I'd recommend checking out. Now, Niagara Launcher is the first one I'd kind of recommend for some people, mostly because it's very, very different than any other launcher you'd probably ever use. So the way Niagara Launcher works is that it's a pretty basic one, as you can see. You can customize a few different options here. So you can go through and change basically your clock, you can move your widget around, you can go and change your Niagara settings here, which allows you to change some more things. But the way it basically is set up, at least the way it's supposed to be tailored, is it's supposed to just show you your favorite applications right as soon as you get inside of the application. And then all the other apps are basically layered here. So you can jump to a specific application just from the letter itself. So I think it's cool. I think it's kind of like a novelty. I don't know if it's like the coolest thing in the world and I don't think it's super practical for me, but you do have that option here of basically seeing all the, all the applications that you have right here. So it is actually really nice. And whether you're left-handed or right-handed, you can basically scroll through here just by scrolling to the sides. It's very different, but it is a really cool type of launcher. Now, another launcher, the classic is Nova Launcher. Nova Launcher is probably one of the most popular launching applications out there, and there are so many people who use it. The thing I love about Nova Launcher is that, you know, it's a very, very good type of application, and it gives you a ton of capability to choose from. A thing I like a lot about Nova Launcher too is that from a, you know, from a one UI device like this that's not stock Android, it still gives me some capability of having some like sort of stock Android options and kind of getting like a stock Android feel, which is nice. And on top of that, if I go and make my way over to my Nova settings, I can go through and change up my Nova settings and, you know, basically customize everything I'd ever really want inside of this, which is actually pretty crazy. So I think this in and of itself is another very cool thing that we basically have the option of doing within, within a, you know, Nova launcher. Another launcher that I love a lot is Smart Launcher. The thing with Smart Launcher is that this is another one of those smart launchers or launching applications that just works. It's a very smooth type of application too, as you can see. Like it's the animations are very nice. Everything looks pretty good for the most part. It does have more of a blocky feel, but you can customize a lot of things within Smart Launcher as well. So you can hold down on a particular side. So you can hold down on like a widget or something like this, and you can basically go through and get this full on, you know, the whole entire experience here of customizing a lot of stuff. Now you can always go through and get the paid version if you want to, but you do have this option here, which is actually really awesome because you still have a lot of capability within here, which I actually think is really cool. So I do think without, you know, a doubt this in and of itself is another really cool launcher that I would highly recommend a lot of people to download. And finally, the Microsoft launcher. I was surprised to even see they had a launcher. I used it for a little bit, but this one is really interesting because it is fairly similar to like kind of stock Android of what you'd expect, but you can tell it's very Microsoft-y. In fact, if you swipe to the left, you'll get into Copilot. So you can use Copilot right within your Microsoft launcher, which is kind of cool. But beyond that, you still have a lot of cool stuff here. You can customize and add widgets. There's a lot of editing capability you have here too. So you can go through and change your launcher settings, change your wallpaper. There's a lot of stuff you can still do here as well within this launcher, which again, I'm very happy to see. So you do have that type of capability here too, which is another really cool thing. So those are probably my favorite or the best Android launching applications, home screen launchers that you can download on your Android phone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then. Thank you.